name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear children, friends of Jesus, you're welcome to your program, our program when we come together to pray, to worship God, and also to grow together in this family of faith, prayer, and charity. My name is Dorothy Atire Sonko. And today is a very special Sunday in the Catholic Church. It is the day when we pray for all vocations in the church. It is known as World Day of Prayer for Vocations. And with me are our friends, our brothers and sisters from St. Pius Masaja Primary School in Masaja Parish, Kampala Archdiocese. And they are going to present to us the theme of this year. And what is the theme of this year? The theme for this year is Hearts on the Fire and Feet on the Move. It means that our hearts are on fire to discover, to live well our vocations. And our feet also are on the move to share the good news of Jesus, just like the disciples were on the road to Emmaus. And so today, dear friends, children, let us open our hearts today to know more about vocations and the call of God. We are going to humble ourselves and we pray, God of love, you created us in your own image and likeness and you call us to serve you, to know you and to love you. Give us the grace to grow, to reach to that vocation, to that calling that we are called to be. 
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. My Bible tells me so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Father, this is St. Paul's Primary School Massager coming to you. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of our homes, teachers, parents, and our school. We thank you for the Easter season, which has been a reflection of God's love to mankind, that he gave us his only son to suffer and die, to wash away our sins. His resurrection brought new life to mankind. Father, let not our Jesus die in vain for us, and allow us to carry on his salvation to the whole world. This we ask of you through Christ the risen Lord. Amen. Amen. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I said that today we are celebrating vocations. Sunday, it's also known as Good Shepherd Sunday. And who is the Good Shepherd? The Good Shepherd is Jesus. And what is a vocation, dear children? A vocation means the call of God. And how does God call us? More so in the Catholic Church. God calls us in different ways. We have religious sisters, we have priests, we have uh, the consecrated brothers and the sisters, and also there are those who consecrate and live a single life. So today is just a reminder that we are supposed to pray for vocations, we pray that in our families, God gives us the grace to have our brothers and sisters come out to answer the call of God. And also, we also pray for those who are already in their vocations, the priests, the sisters, the brothers, and all consecrated people, that they may live well their vocation and they may be happy as they, they serve God, as they live well their call. Our friends from St. Pius Masaja are here, ready to animate us in today's liturgy. And so we are going to have the gospel reading. Speak to us, dear Jesus, for you are our preacher. Open our hearts to The Gospel according to John, chapter 10, verse 1 to 10. Glory to you, O Lord. I'm the door of the sheep. At that time, Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, He who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens, the sheep hear his voice, and he calls him on sheep by name and leaves them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him. For they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door of the sheep. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief only comes to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Like we have heard in the Gospel about the Good Shepherd, they are going to demonstrate for us, they are going to, to show us a skit about the Good Shepherd. I hope you like it and you also learn some lessons from there. Hey you, what are you doing? None of your business. 
business. I'm just checking on my ship. Interesting. Checking your ship over the wall. Look, you almost fell. None of your business. Eh? Look, the owner is coming. The owner, the owner. Hey, stop. Here, the owner. Why are you running away? I'm fine. What is the scaffold about? Someone was trying to enter your face by climbing. Can you imagine that he was posing as the owner? <laughs> sounds, fa sounds funny, but you see, I have that too. Come and go. <laughs> Like people, it's because they have a ship. I show them, <coughs> and they respect yeah. Please tell us more. I'm the good shepherd, and the interest is so. Everyone should pass through me in order to get salvation. Anyone who evades me is a thief, and the sheep will run away from him. A thief has no kind words, just to kill. Rob and destroy. Come through me and I will lead you to the Father. <laughs> One of the main lessons that I personally learn from their skit and from their sharing is that the shepherd is very careful in keeping his sheep. He keeps the sheep in a very safe place and also he has the key to where the sheep are kept. What does this mean for us, dear children? It means that Jesus, the good shepherd, is always mindful of our safety, is always mindful of our hearts, our souls, and is always there to love us, to care for us. That even when the devil tempts us, Jesus always gives us great options of going to the sacrament of penance, we go to penance and we confess our sins and he himself, Jesus in the priest, forgives us and then we start a good life. And also, the good shepherd is a call to parents out there and the teachers and all child care minders that we have to be very careful, very empathetic in caring for the children that God brings and uh, our, our love, our kindness so that they are able to feel the love of God and knowing that God loves them and also he's always there to protect them. Children, today as we celebrate the Good Shepherd Sunday, and as we are called to pray for the vocations in the church, also together, let us ask God to enlighten us more about his call for us. Much as we are young, we can always ask God, God, what is it that I have to live for in future? And then God will always inspire us to a particular vocation, either to be a religious or to be a priest, uh, or even to be a family person. Because we believe that all vocations are born from families, even also living a, a, a consecrated family life where you, you wed in holy matrimony, it is also a great vocation. So we pray, dear children, that God of love, keep us inspired to live according to your call. God be Father, We pray for our shepherd, the Pope, bishops, priests, the religious and catechists, that the Lord showers them with the Holy Spirit in their mission, that the day comes when the world has one flock and one shepherd. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for country leaders, 
Leaders in our different communities write from our homes that with God's guidance they fulfill their responsibilities. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the sick in hospitals and back at home, sick at heart and the downtrodden, that they offer their suffering to God, that he heals the world of all vices. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have made a mess of life and who know well that they have no one but themselves to blame. May they make a good resolution to do better tomorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for God's providence to our parents and guardians that they may fulfill their responsibilities towards their families and their mother country. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let's pray for our school St. Pius, headmistress, teachers, and with the pupils that each one perfects one's responsibility towards the growth of our school. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the repose of the souls of the faithful, especially our teachers, Kovia Nagadia, fellow students, relatives, and friends. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. In silence, let us present our person petition. We who have gathered that the Lord help us become good shepherd in our life, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We are going to have a sharing from these children, telling us about one of, one of the vices that is creeping in our, in our communities and asking us also to be mindful of that vice which is not so good, but just to be educated about it. Nice to be with you today. Thank you. I have been longing for someone with whom we can discuss a vice which is eating up our society. What is that this time? Homosexuality. Terrible, terrible. Can you put it in a clear way for my judge at to understand? Let's explain it this way. Homosexuality is the sexual attraction of persons of the same gender to one another. Male are homosexuals and female lesbians. But isn't that because of the same vice that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? Exactly. That's why it is sometimes referred to as Sodom. That sends a chill in my spine. Is it found abroad? In which country? It is already here in our mother country and was still in schools. How did it come about? First, it was targeting the poor. You see, we have done a lot of bad things. We have left what we want and do otherwise. We have betrayed. We have given false witness. We have destroyed up to the point of killing in the name of getting money. Can you try to be realistic? Brother, people have sold their dignity, their, their families and countries because of money. But isn't that dangerous? More than dangerous. Young girls and boys who have fallen victim of this vice are there languishing in hospitals and homes. They are seeing their intestines coming out and are rotting. That must be also damaging psychologically. Young persons find themselves having damaged their future and the man which attracted them cannot save them. This is total destruction of families whereby Satan is destroying God's plan for procreation. If man marries man, who is father? Who is mother? Who of these two is going to give birth? Isn't that the end of the world? And those people are terrible. Do you know that at first they wanted to implicate the poor? Yes, but he came out boldly and denied it and said a big no to blessing couples of the same sex. But sister, how are, we, how are we going to fight this? How are we to help our society? Let me start with parents. Parents be very key. 
watch the movements of your children. If you see your children with amounts of money you didn't give them, please, pl please make a follow-up. Teachers, watch out on the relationships and friendships of your students. Give regular counseling and please, please mind the different organization you welcome into your school to talk to your students. You might welcome Poison. Le let us work together, parents, teachers and students, to fight homosexuality in our co community. We thank the stand our parliament took some regions and organizations, regardless of losing aid from donor countries. Dear viewers, stay blessed. Thank you, dear children, for being part of the program. Thank you for the great sharing. And together, let us keep growing in the family of faith, prayer, and charity. And thank you, the production team. To you, our priests, thank you for all the guidance and counsel you give us to make this program better and better. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye, dear children. Keep watching Uganda Catholic Television as we live well our theme of today, which is Hearts on the Fire, Feet on the Move. Thank you. 